Hello and welcome to Scrap of Creativity. I have a um, graduation card to share with you today and this was a card made um, using the Go Graduate set from the Summer Mini. I really like this set a lot. I um, don't really have a um, graduation set and so this I thought was awesome. I really liked this. Um, it was kind of funny, you know, you've got the, oh, so proud of you, um, go you, and then it's about time and go get a job. So I, I kind of like that subtle sarcasm. It's kind of funny. Um, so this is a card that I made um, using this set. And <laughs> these feet, I love these feet. We're going to, um, you're using a Knight of Navy uh, card base. It opens from the side like that. So a little different. It's um, 11 by four and a quarter if you're visual like I am. Um, this is probably a little bit better for you. So it's half sheet of paper that way. Oh, look, you can see my messy area. How fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's that. Uh, this white piece of paper, Whisper White, is five and a half by one and a quarter. And we're gonna stamp on that using just basic black ink and our little feet. Now the way I did this to get it lined up is I started in the middle and um, I just kind of, you know, I, I guesstimate by looking at it and um, press down and then I re-inked and did, oh, I re-inked and did each side as well. This is another one of those fabulous things that I love about clear stamps. You can see right where you're stamping and you can line right up. So unless you have the stamp set, you would never know that this wasn't one long piece. Um, that this wasn't one long stamp. So, ta-da! There's that. Um, now I'm not going to um, color it in like I did on here. It took just a little too long for me. On this one, I used, um, I used Stampin' Pastels and a blender pen to do it. Um, these blender pens, love these blender pens, um, because that just kind of gave me the most colors to choose from, things like that. It would look really cute with markers as well, I think. Um, I just didn't want that really, really dark black for the gowns. I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more watercolored. So that's what I used on that. Um, for sake of time, I'm not going to do it on this one. But you will want to um, color it in however you're going to before you put it on here. So that, because um, you're going to color up, um, up above, since you're kind of laying over the top of it. So, okay. And I have, um, I used Brush Gold and Knight of Navy on this because that was, those were the colors um, of my friend's school that I'm making this card for. You can switch them out and use whatever colors you want. Um, you know, green and yellow, um, red and blue, whatever um, your graduate's colors are. And that's just kind of a fun way to customize that. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, sorry, this brushed gold piece is five and a half by one inch. And I'm gonna lay some black over the top of it. It just kind of ties that black all in. And I'm gonna do that before I adhere my gold piece down. And that way, um, the edges look really nice and neat and they're underneath that piece. I'll show you what I mean here. I'm just using um, sticky strip on this. You can use, um, I, I really like to use, um, I'm sorry, not sticky strip, snail. I'm using snail adhesive on this. Um, I really like to use sticky strip when I'm working with ribbon, um, but I'm not worried about it on this one since I've put it right underneath like that. Okay, so when you do that it that way, it holds your ribbon just a tad bit tighter, and it also makes it so you have nice neat edges, so you don't open the card and have that ribbon hanging over the front and hanging over the back, things like that. Not that I haven't been known to do that with cards. Some cards you just can't avoid it on, but if I have the option, I try not to. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is stamp our congratulations graduate piece on here. I thought I had another scrap. Oh well. And this is gonna go right on here like this. I'm just using the same block for, um, you know, for time's sake. 
That's the nice thing. If you um, want to get just one block, um, make sure you get a bigger one because a lot of these sets now have, you know, the longer edge. And if you want to get the most for your money, um, you're going to want to make sure that you get the bigger blocks so that um, you can put whatever size stamp on there that you need. They're also good for... Um, sorry, again, that can't do two things at once. They're also good for... Um, you can make like a mural by having a couple of different um, stamps on there and stamping them all at once, one time. It saves you. It saves you a little bit of time and energy. Now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting it. I'm going to get it kind of like a pennant edge to it. Never been good at these pennant edges. They just there we go. Okay, and on the corner of this, I am going to use a little um, mini library clip. And these clips, I love these clips. Um, they come in four different colors. There's the silver, the black, um, the antique, and then also um, the pewter. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to tie a little bit of linen thread around it. Um, this linen thread is so versatile. I really like it. It comes on a big old pack like that. And my trick for getting these something tied around these tiny little puppies is to clip them on something first. If you don't, um, it's really quite impossible, in my opinion, to tie anything around it. It just doesn't work out for me, at least. So... I got that tied around there, and clip off my edges, and I'm going to clip off the edge of this too, and then I'm just going to stick it right on the edge of that, and then what I'm going to do is bend it just a little bit, because I want it to have a little bit of a 3D look, and I'm going to put tape in a couple places here. I want to give it that a little bit of a 3D look here. Like that. So when you look down on it, you can see it's a little bit wavy. Now the other thing you could put is um, one more stamp over here if you'd like to. Um, I like the go you saying. <laughs> I, actually, I actually use that saying myself a lot, so it's kind of appropriate. Go you. You're awesome. And I'm going to stamp that right over here next to Congratulations Graduate. And there's my almost finished card. Again, I'm going to color that part in so it has a little bit of spice to it, but there it is. Thanks for watching.